in this excel tutorial you will learn two things the first is how to add a blank row after each row in excel and the second is how to put serial numbers only on those rows that contain data here is one example i have this excel file which has some data and i already have a column with serial numbers and if i add a blank row after each row in excel these serial numbers will be disturbed and i don't want a serial number on the blank row i want serial numbers to appear only on the rows that contain data so let us see how you can achieve this Now the way we do this is that we select all the serial numbers and if there is no serial number column you can create an extra column and later on you can delete that after achieving this blank row after every row but because i have this serial number column so i select all these serial numbers and i press ctrl c to copy then i click on the cell below the last serial number and i paste all of the above serial numbers there by control v then you click on the top cell of this column and i am using the free online excel version which is freely available to anyone so make sure you are in home tab then on the right hand side you have this sort and filters and you click on sort ascending and you will notice that a blank row has appeared after every row in my excel file but the serial numbers have disturbed and if you have a lot of rows hundreds or thousands of rows it is not possible to delete will take a lot of time and if i try to put the serial numbers by pattern method so i delete this and i put one here and then two here and then i select these two and try to pattern this it will not work and even if it works this method is not good because this method does not allow dynamic serial numbers meaning that if the row is blank there should not be any serial number and if the row contains data only then there should be a serial number this is what we want to achieve i delete this and to get the dynamic serial numbers i click on the top row where i want to put the serial number and then i have to use a formula for that and this formula contains two excel functions so let me first write down the formula so is equal then i use the if function start parenthesis then i select the first cell b2 in my case and then equals double quotation double quotation comma it means that if b2 is empty return empty again double quotation double quotation but if it's not empty then i want to count count a is the function i'm going to use i have to give it a range so i want to lock this b2 cell because i have to drag this formula down but i want to lock this cell so therefore i put dollar sign here dollar b and dollar 2 to lock b2 cell and i will explain in a minute and then i type colon b2 so in this way i give this a range because this b2 i want to change at every row and then i have to close the parenthesis twice because there are two starting parenthesis and i will explain this formula in a minute then i press enter and now i will drag this to all my data and i get the perfect serial numbers so now let's say i delete this row and as you notice that my serial numbers will automatically be updated if i put it back by control z the serial numbers will again be updated automatically now let me explain the formula for you so the formula says if b2 is empty then return empty otherwise count how many cells contain data from cell b2 to b2 so there is only one cell that contains data so therefore it returns one now i move to the next cell which is a3 now the formula says if b3 is empty and yes b3 is empty then return empty so it has returned empty so nothing is printed here now if i go to the third cell which is a4 now the formula says if b4 is empty b4 is not empty brand 2 is written there therefore it will not return empty and it will start counting and it says count from b2 to b4 b2 b3 and b4 and how many cells contain data 
there are two cells containing data from B2 to B4. Therefore, it returns two. Similarly, here it's empty, so it will return empty. At cell A6, now the formula says if B6 is empty, which is not, therefore count B2 to B6. So count B2 to B6. How many cells contain some data? How many cells are not empty? There are three cells which are not empty. So therefore I got three. So this is the perfect way of putting dynamic serial numbers in Excel so that if you delete a row, the serial number will automatically be updated. If you add a row, the serial numbers will again be automatically updated. So that is it for this short tutorial. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.